It's an early third and short for the Paladins as it's Ahmad Thomas with the carry and a big run down the left side before being taken down at the 32 and picks up 38 yards for a Paladins first down. Then it's Ahmad Thomas again, a Paramus Catholic with the carry. This time he takes it in for the touchdown from just a yard out and Paramus Catholic strikes first. They lead 7-0 with 8.15 remaining in the first quarter. Paramus Catholic has it back after a Pope John punt and it's quarterback Alan Walters firing this strike over the middle for an 18 yard gain and a first down just shy of midfield. The Paladins would strike again as the give is to Ahmad Thomas as he takes it in for his second score of the day as it's 14-0 Paramus Catholic with just under two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Then it's the Pope John defense led by Vinny Bello forcing the turnover here as they separate the receiver from the ball and it's Jacob Brown and Pope John coming up with the recovery as the Lions take over in good field position, first and 10. And it's Pope John looking to capitalize on this turnover as the give is to Burrell Neal, who takes it up the middle, then bounces it outside as he picks up 20 yards and a Pope John first down. And Paramus Catholic is back on offense after Pope John missed field goal. And it's Alan Walters again, rolling out and hitting his man deep downfield for a 22 yard gain. And it's a Paladins first down. And it's Paramus Catholic again finding the end zone as they give it to Ahmad Thomas as he takes it up the middle from just a yard out for his third score of the day. And it's now 21 to nothing, Paramus Catholic with three and a half remaining in the second quarter. And with just three seconds left in the half, it's Alan Walters hitting Elijah Jackson out of the backfield as Jackson scores from three yards out to make it 28 to nothing, Paramus Catholic as the Paladins go on to win by the final score of 28 to nothing. Pope John falls to 0-2, but they open NJAC play next week.